Hey guys, APOC here. Welcome to the video. Today we're going to go over the Blood Queen herself, the mother of blood, the uh, vamp queen, if you will, um, Volca. All right. <clears throat> this is Volca. Outstanding looking character. I really love the uh, vampire type thing look. You know, it's super cool. Super cool, super cool, super cool. Anyway, so that's the look. Got her promoted up, right? Her basics, uh, I, have, I have everything stripped on her right now. So this is what she is, pretty basic, 25. Now, I do have her skills, some of them max, you know, not, not fancy. She's still got a little ways to go. And uh, her awakenings are only A1, right? So what I'm doing is setting this up. This is the early game or, or yeah, I would say early game build, right? You get... You can get Volca in the early game as long as you're diligent, you're working hard, and you stay disciplined on, on knocking out the specific tasks, and you can get her fairly early on. Um, and then once you get her A1, you get her get A1 through A2, A3, A4, all that stuff through Tide. Um, knocking out your Tide can do that. You know, Tide's not very difficult, but it is one of those things where if you don't have a lot of AoE heroes yet, and you don't have a lot of gear to gear out all of those AoE heroes at the same time, then Tide's probably going to give you a bit of a problem. But, you know, that's something you can work up towards, right? This game is not meant to be beaten in a month, right? This is like a, a year, two year long type of game. So as you work up to that, you'll unlock more and more of these, right? It's really just determined on how your overall account is. And you can start knocking these out as you progress, right? So the Awakenings are there. Promotions knocked out uh, just like any other character and, and, and so to speak, right? This is cool. AOE attack and life steal. Life steal. That's freaking awesome, right? It said right there. It says, um, uh, feasting on uh, crowds is her delight as her bloodlust restores HP, right? So we go over to skills here. Let's go ahead and read some skills. We'll start with the talent. The talent says, after each basic attack, there's a 30% chance of gaining one stack of Scarlet Ferment. Each enemy kill uh, kill grants one extra stack. Each enemy kill grants one enemy. I mean, one one more stack. All right. So it says uh, mark one enemy. See that little bat above their head? That's that's when they're marked. Marks one enemy target in range with the highest HP, inflicting vulnerability of physical damage and vulnerability of magic damage. Be mindful. This was only ten. Uh, Mari does twenty percent. So this is ten. Not quite as strong as the other one, right? Um, all vulnerabilities are not made the same, so be mindful of that. But it is nice. It makes everyone more effective when you put her out, right? Vulnerability, vulnerability. Lasting for 10 seconds. If any marked enemy dies, Volca immediately restores 30% 30, uh, 30 HP and two stacks of that bad boy, which in turn increases attack and defense by 6%, stacking up to five times, right? So you can get some pretty good stacks going on this little lady here. All right, her regular deals 105% damage to five enemies targets in range, and that's new for the bulk uh, to, to uh, blah, 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 from the, the new buff that was put on. So you got 150% to five enemies targets in range, right? And it goes damage, 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 increase from there. This is the auto. Uh, it says uh, when the hero has five stacks of Scarlet Ferment, each of her attacks consume two stacks dealing 320 percent aoe damage to up to 10 enemies within two tiles and inflicting damage reduction on them that means what that means is they're not able to put out as much damage right it's reduce attack essentially um lasting on them for five seconds so that helps and that'll help your tank too you know or assuming she's not your tank assuming you're using someone else as a tank the thing is now with her um uh, 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 her extra tile and stuff you can put a tank in front of her and use her almost like a zilla 2 or, or or things like that right each basic attack launch has the hero restore four percent hp and each basic attack launched by allies restores one percent hp so you just get hp restored all the time that self-sustaining is phenomenal is phenomenal and of course you can only amp that up and get that even better as you go too now the awakenings this one is very, very important, especially for gear rate two. All right. Uh, allies redeployment time minus 25%. So it takes 25% off 
of the redeployment time. So after you pull a hero and their 60 second time starts to count down, you're going to take 25% off that 60 second uh, countdown. And uh, that's really going to help you to be able to have your hero ready again to be able to replace them back into the hero. I mean, uh, back into the, the stage, um, you know, when needed, right? Especially with Gear Raid 2 and, and the strategy used for that, she's going to be highly important, if not incapable of doing it without her type thing. So it's very important that you get her and that you get her A1 in order to really knock out that Gear Raid 2. The rest of these are also going to be nice. They're all going to add to the badassery of her kit and, and just make her that much better. But uh, you definitely need the first one. So that's really all we're going to go over there. All right. So this is a big build, uh, uh, you know, showcase, so to speak. So we really want to go over how to build her, right? I've taken all the uh, gear off of her and the artifact off of her so we can go and show from there. Speaking with artifacts, just put the best artifact you have on her. Uh, this is early game, right? We're talking early game. You, you may not even have mythic artifacts, or if you do, put the one that you have. I mean, if, if this is the only one you got, put it on her, right? The effects are not going to do much of anything for you right now, but the fact that it's red, it's a mythic one, means that it comes with these extra stats right here, an extra 3,000 HP and an extra 1,000 attack, right? That can be phenomenal. Oh, actually, let's use this one right here equip right perfect I, I, I get a little something out of it you know increased crit damage and stuff you know a little, little, little something something out of it but the main factor i'm using this is just for this right here just trying to get as much hp and attack on this lady as i can now now we go to gear all right so now we're looking at gear we're trying to figure out well what do we put on this lady what in the world are we going to be able to do right so she gets two in front of her now and if we look uh, this is not a good place to look if we come over here and we look here, only got a 5,000 attack, 22,000 HP, and then nothing else. Everything else is basic. Everything else is basic, 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 right? So ideally, before you start building a hero, you want to come over here and check out your skills and see what skills are doing what, right? And the idea is, is you want to put gear on your hero that can make them more deadly at the skills they're currently using. So if they're talking about, you know, hey, for every five attacks uh, is going to increase a stack for this hero, then you're going to want to put a ton of uh, attack speed on that hero so that it reaches those stacks faster and causes that damage, uh, you know, in, in larger amounts. Uh, so with her, we want to come over here and say, look, this is where you target the vulnerability. So that's going to be awesome there. That's just regular attack, nothing fancy. And then it says... Uh, when hero has five stacks of scarlet ferment on each right when you start seeing that that's when you start realizing okay well five stacks each of her attacks consumes two stacks oh, okay so it looks like you need to get some speed on her then right and then everything else reach basic attack launch restores hp uh you know by the person so that what what that tells you is that you're going to want fast attacks because you're going to get a lot of hp restore a lot of hp restore and then, of course, the overall attack. Now, the general rule of thumb, and I mean general, as far as uh, DPS heroes go. Early game, you want to put an attack here, an attack here, and a crit right there. Or, you know, mix it up if you need be. But it's basically two attack and a crit rate. That's generally the early game. The late game is going to be one attack and two crit rate. You know, generally speaking. And if you need to, you can throw a crit rate in there and then do two attacks or one crit rate, two uh crit damages depending on the individual stats of your late game account that's depending early game go early game you're, you're going to want to put what you have uh you want to try to get the uh crit rate as high as you can try to get it close to 90 100 but after that you're going to want uh you know attack and attack speed pretty much everything early game is going to be hard to get crit capped it's going to be hard to get 300 or 300 extra attack speed so i understand if you guys just need to put on there what you got, I completely understand. If you just need to do a quick equipped and throw on what you got, at the end of the day, the quick equipped have gotten a lot better. So if that's what you need to do to get the job done, it is what it is. But if you want to look how to niche build this character for any specific individual needs, then we're just going to go over here and one at a time, just do the build. Let's go ahead and start off. We'll do it together. 
We're going to start off with the attack. Do attack and attack bonus with the crit rate and attack speed. All right. N none of them are showing up here with the attack speed. Not that lucky. Let's remove that. And boom, I just got one showing up with crit rate. So we're going to put that little lady right there. That works. Next one. We're going to come over here and do same thing. Attack, crit rate. Let's also see if we can throw attack speed on there. Ooh, got one. Got one. Throwing that little lady on there. Outstanding. And then same concept here. On the early game, we don't have enough um, gear, I don't think, to be doing any anything crazy. So let's just see. We'll keep this third one also attack. And we'll actually... Actually, let's see if we can... We'll do this one attack attack speed all that stuff right yeah that looks good we'll throw that on there but on this one let's see oh, that's a really good piece can we do it see if we can do attack speed Ooh, it only wants us to do attack speed on the center piece here i was thinking about this we don't even have any pieces <clears throat> That would give me a lot of really good attack speed there a little bit of hp but i lose all of that in the meantime mm, 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 mm. i'll hold on to this piece i do want more attack speed but this piece is so good it has everything on it all right left side left side same concept we want to get uh oh i need to sell those off this garbage is uh, uh gear is garbage anyway so let's go ahead and start off we got the hp right they will look for an attack an attack who do we have first lady up right there got some uh that's some attack speed looking here we can do this we can do these with the attack speed that, that'd be good right give me a little extra attack there go ahead and enhance this and see if we can get anything out of it hey it's not too shabby not too shabby i'll throw that on her and the other side Oh wow, look at that. HP, crit rate, defense, and attack. HP and the defense will really help her out as, as playing as a tank anyway. The attack and crit rate helps her in the attack portion, but the fact that, that you're going to have two pieces now will give you attack speed as well. Voila! Check it out. 16,000 attack speed. That's nice. 307 attack speed. That's fancy. Crit rate, you know, could be a little bit better, but that'll get the job done. That'll get the job done. And 186, that's just absolutely embarrassing there. That's embarrassing. You know, 20% raise regen, that's nice. That, that's sure. That helps, you know, but we're not really shooting for that. We would like to get this a bit higher and that a bit higher, but that comes with just better gear. But we're in the early game. That's what this is about, the early game build. Okay. Now that you got her set up, you got your, your piece on her, right? Now she's looking at around 62,000. 62,000, right? So we can go into let's go into guild boss and show the type of damage that this can put out. Now I'm just going to use her alone, no other person. We're gonna do a play test. Just well, let's do uh not nightmare three. Nightmare three. And this is just going to give us an idea of what she's able to pump out all on her lonesome. All on her lonesome. It's going to show you all the uh, HP she's going to be able to gain as well on her own. Assuming she didn't die. I haven't ran this yet, guys, so we'll see. Boom, right? Two times it. And we'll just let it ride. Look at that. All that. Every single time. 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000. Now, if she had anybody else on the build who was also attacking, that would in turn give her more HP as well. She's got that life steal going on. Look at that. That's what that is. Sucking the life right out of him. She's about to get wiped on this one, though, <laughs> from the shield. But uh it'll 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 look good. Oh, look at her. She didn't get wiped. Look at her. Still going. Still going. Still going. Get it, girl. Wonder how long she can last. Let's see. Yeah, some attack speed would have really helped that um would have really helped that uh attacks uh, you know healing i'm sorry 
Right, the faster she attacks, the more she heals. Come on. Can she survive? Oh, got him, coach. Got him. Melted into flames. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. She did a million all on her lonesome. Also did almost well, 150, a little over 150K in healing all by herself. Like I was saying, you want to do a little more healing, put an additional person out there. The more attacks everyone else is doing, right? She's going to get a 1% heal from that, right? And so it just continues to add. The more people you put out that are attacking, the more HP she gets. And it's just a, a, a back and forth, back and forth. Now, also mindful that she has that vulnerability. So as she's applying that vulnerability, um, your other guys are also doing more damage as well, right? So this, my friend, is one of the easiest characters you can build out in the early game that can really carry you quite some time. Really carry you quite some time. All right, all right. So that's enough talk on the early game. We showed you what she looks like. We showed you some of her skills. We went over her kit. We showed you how to use her, right? Or at least briefly in, in Guild Boss and, and how to use her in conjunction with other heroes to maximize their DPS output as well. Now, let me swap over to my main and we'll go through it on the late game and kind of show you the build and how it differs. All right, guys. So here is Volka on my main, right? I took everything off of her as well. Here I have her A3, so a few more awakenings. A2s are always garbage. Then the A3, during the effect of Blood Source, um, the healing from Scarlet Beast is doubled, right? So you get a little bit better healing when it comes to that. Um, and then I got the skills basically about the same. None of them really maxed out or anything like that. Haven't really put any um, uh, uh, legendary skill crystals into her yet. So still working on that. <laughs> uh, just like the rest of the world. But, you know, we're here for the gear and the artifacts, right? Gear and artifacts are really the only two things that are different. Now, best case scenario, if you have it, this would be the best uh, artifact for the, the hero period uh not only do you increase an additional block which is great for uh uh fighters great for fighters but you additionally start to uh restore hp equal to 0.08 percent of max hp each time they deal damage to one target stacking up to three times right i'm stacking up to three targets so you're able to hit more than one target with this person which is great for this and you already gain a little bit of HP back, which only amplifies that even more with this. So you're taking what she's already doing and just making her even better at it, making her even more sustainable and, and actually even blocking an additional person, which is unheard of for a fighter. So that's something you're going to want to put it as high as possible and put it up there. But Lunacy Visor is a little more difficult to get for some folks. I understand. I'm still waiting on a few heroes that it seems like everybody in the world has. So, you know, part of the uh, part of the, the drop rates, I guess, right? If you have the Wailing Skull, this one's a little more easier to drop for some, but this is another great piece, right? This is about the only other piece really worth a damn for your fighter here. Um, it doesn't really do anything with her skills per se, but it's just overall chance of outstanding damage as a as an additional um, uh, uh, as additional ground unit essentially when it pops up, you know. Uh, but be mindful uh, when when that additional unit pops up and starts doing damage, you know, for those few seconds, what twenty seconds. Um, you can't place a hero on that tile. So if you're trying to hurry up and put people down, like in guild balls or something, and you throw her out and this dude pops off like this, it's taking up one of your spots right off the bat. So just be aware, be aware. You may have to play around with that as far as timing and putting her out, but just be aware that can be an issue. And then last but not least would be really this one. But the only time this applies, let me do something a little even. Anytime this... So I'm sorry, 20%. That, that's the basic one. Anyway, anytime you have this one on, it's not going to do much effect with her per se because she doesn't do any bleed. But, you know, it's also assuming that you have someone doing bleed and that just by putting this on her, you now do an additional 20% extra damage to your target because of that other hero uh, inflicting bleed, right? So you can kind of just piggyback off of another fighter or something like that with this one that's why i can do very good because it's 20 percent. that's huge it's a huge uptick right but since we got it we're using it right that's what we're going to do now 
coming over here to the gear this is late game right this is i, I have a lot of the, the the gear that i would hopefully need to have for at least one one hero at a time right so what we're going to do is come up here and we're going to start off with some um we're going to do crit damage crit damage we're going to start off on the first one so let's start off and say some crit damage here we'll do attack and attack speed all right what do we got looks like we're going to end up making a broken set crit damage you got 16 percent attack you got a 429 attack and you have some attack speed in there you have attack speed but just a single attack right attack speed attack yeah here you have the two two attacks attack and attack bonus with the attack speed and a crit rate can't get any better than that can't get any better that's that's an amazing piece all right so after we get the crit rate now let's do attack speed right attack speed we'll do that and then we'll do no attack speed is probably not going to be on attack speed piece but we'll do attack and then flat attack how about that let's start looking there oh that looks healthy that looks healthy look at that. attack bonus attack oh yeah a little crit rate there at the end Can we get some crit rate on here that's what i should be looking at where you at crit rate Ooh, kind of narrows it down there for me huh just that one well what if we take the flat stat off oh there we go only gives me eight percent though it gives me 20. Ooh, let's ride with that one see if we can get any better we got 18 on that one all right and then now on this one we will go back to crit damage we'll do Crit rate first with attack second. You can throw attack speed in there. Why not? Oh, look at this piece. Look at that piece. Phenomena. Phenomena. All right. Now let's jump over here and let's see. We would like to use some warrior set on this little lady. We'll go ahead and take these off, right? Ooh. Now, the reason I'm using warrior set is because attack and attack speed are getting given to you both off the same set so it pretty much gives us both of the things we're looking for obviously this piece is humping for the attack and since, well, since that was a flat we can do the attack bonus here throw a little bit of crit rate and attack speed in there no attack speed we'll remove that all right so we're looking for and anytime you you're doing this down here whatever's put up first the highest will, will show up first right See, since um, crit rate is over here in second place, crit rate is not going to be the number one. It's going to be second priority. Attack is going to be the first priority, so it's going to be highest attack. That's why you may look over here and see crit rate is, is in your second spot is higher than in your first. Right. That's because your attack over here is at 20%, and the attack here is at 21, so it's in second place. See, it's all, all in order here. If you want this piece to come first because you want to prioritize crit rate, Come over here, take your attack bonus out, put it back in, and see now your attack is on the secondary portion, which means now your crit rates are showing up priority, showing up in first. So just a FYI, guys, if you guys are interested and want to know, doing stuff like that. I'm needing this piece right here. I think I can roll with that 19 crit rate. We'll do the same thing here. Obviously, you're on HP here, so what you can do is use both attack attack and crit rate oh what we get what we get a little bit of everything in there oh look at that that bumps her up to 73 gives me 14,000 attack gives me 86 crit rate i think we can go a bit better than that look at that 502 speed outstanding and a 300 crit rate Let's see if we can do a little bit better on the crit rate I'm sorry, the crit damage is good. Let's do crit rate. It says 19. Crit rate's 14. That's, that's rough. Crit rate's 18. That's the one that's hurting me. Eight. Everything else is so good on it, though. Eight. Crit damage, crit damage. Hmm. 
you got good crit damage there too jesus 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 attack crit damage let's let's look one more time see the attacks already at 14 and i don't even have any attack pieces on it see what i mean so just let you know it, it depending on your gear but once you get around 14 15 you you can really start laying off some of the attack right <laughs> i got crit damage here attack speed and a crit damage right does does some pretty good stuff there all right i think that's what we're going to roll with uh ideally if you can get a little bit better crit rate that'd be, be uh best but if not this is good too all right she's as good as she can be <laughs> all right same concept come over to oh not tied what are we doing the hell we want to go to tide for come over here jesus yo boss nightmare three we'll do a fight take all these guys off play oh now we will where are you at play test all right now do the same thing we did with the last one show you what the difference is here there we go there we go just let it ride now that's right just let it ride let it ride let it ride he's doing 25 25 25 25 Oh yeah, plus the four thousand when she's doing that life steal. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's doing real good. There you go. There you go. You ain't wiping her. Right. Getting real good life gain back. Come on, life steal. Hit him up. Oh, he's marked. He's marked. Look at it. He's marked. Got a little back going on. Getting, getting messed up. <laughs> right. Get that damage, girl. All right. Look at that. Survivability. Survivability. There we go. Almost. About a minute and a half. And look at that. She just can't die. That attack speed is keeping her healthy. Oh, look at that. Full health. <laughs> oh, then she got wiped right at the end. Look at that. Jesus. I guess he hits harder and harder every time, huh? Because he was she was maxed out there. Ah, oh, that sucks. Almost made it. But here we go. 3.6 in damage and almost 350k in healing, right? And again, you know, well, it's the same thing like I was saying before. If you put other heroes out there that are attacking, she's gonna get more hero. If you put other heroes out there that are very fast attacking she's gonna get a lot of extra hp so that's how it all works man that's how her kit works that's how she works and those are the two different ways you can build her for both early game and both late game and kind of uh you know a little a little use with the guild balls to kind of show you how some of that works as well all right guys if you guys got any questions make sure to let me know hit me up on discord if you got anything uh i also have a discord server you should check it out it's awesome uh but if you guys got any questions stay tuned for my next video i'm gonna go over how to build another hero and I'm going to kind of start doing that a little bit more often than I have been seeing since those are some of the videos that you guys are actually wanting to watch. So I actually build more of these building gods. And uh, if you want me to change anything or show some more or less, let a guy know. Till next time, APOC out. If you enjoyed that video, guys, check out my channel here or my latest video here. Till next time, APOC out.